if I come up into your wrist. Yep. Yep. So that if he's got me grabbed and I come up, June, if I just turn it up here, boom, yep. it's automatically yep. done. Look where it ends up. So now I'm inside. Now we can talk about, do I walk them into a cuff procedure? Do I then turn it into a cuff? Uh, right there in the, oh. Okay, now I come back to thumb and I go, sir. Now on this thumb, this is what I teach my officers, that I walk him to a cuff position, I ask him for his other hand, yeah. and then we, we bundle you up. Nice. So, and Just notice that this is a live blade. I don't usually, you guys are, are trained so you play with a little, that it cannot accidentally open as long as my hand's on it. Yeah. Okay. It's so flash, it's always flash it open. I mean, flash it really just really. So that's Pac Man. Yeah. Okay, and let me shift. Hold on. Man, I definitely feel it dig into you. Yeah, well, uh, just the way you were reaction, reacting. Okay, so safe trainer drum. Yeah, yeah. And I don't believe in Pakal. Pakal is edge in. But Pakal, you have to be up close. So picture I'm in here. I have the only tool because of the bramp. I pop it open, Pac Man, and now I can play Pakal grip. Because mm. I'm in close, because, and what happens, I can't accidentally cut myself. But if I'm in a traditional, and I Pakal grip, if I slip, right. I could get cut. But with my tool, if I go to Pakal, even if I slip, I can't get cut, and I can do Pakal grabbing and cutting. He's got to respond. If I want to, I automatically put it into a regular grip, and now I can use the bramp for control. And still, And yeah. because it's a firearms tool, I shut it down in the flow. We oh go God. right back oh. down to <laughs> non-lethal. <laughs> right? So it's, it's a Filipino martial art tool. With the indexing, I can go right to reverse and hit. And, and this is the it, yeah. same bird's beak as uh. a bolo. So when you've seen me teach bolo, when I lock on, Ooh. there's a bolo grab. There's a bolo hit. What if that hand comes at me? Well, I go ahead and reach over and with the teeth, oh. grab it. And if I'm in this grip, a regular grip, and it comes over, I grab it. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn just, <laughs> turn just around that if I'm in here, here's the horns. I can use the horns Ooh. to pick them up. There's the hit. Yes. There's the roll. There's, a, there's yep. the pickup. And look there's who puts his hand. Right oh, and there's, an the, there's yeah, another pickup there. There's another there's, pickup yeah. right there. <laughs> Bam, break that chest. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, and, you know, kinetic opening means when I touch you, it's open. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm in a full grip. Now, he's younger, stronger, faster than I am. Uh-huh. Can I get that? Don't let that arm bend. Okay, so he's keep, Don't bend it. Keep it straight. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I want to control him. So I take it and I stick the bramp in there. And there's the control. I'm going to turn you around so you can see with the camera that I actually roll the ramp on here and then I shut it back down and now I have control of it. And then have control of the whole yeah. thing. And if I bring it onto the back of his hand, <laughs> oh. okay, or onto his finger, or into the hip, and then we're right back. Back into the intro. Yeah. Uh, love it, love it. Right. Good stuff, great stuff. But that's why when I first came up, I went, oh, look what I can do. You have to pardon me. This one is, a, I've cut these fingers off and had them replaced. They, oh, they don't. Work, they look good. I'm thank God. They're good, thank God. But a lot of my knife maker friends came to me and said, oh, "Where's your missing fingers?" And I was like, "They went. Don't tell me you had them put back on." And uh, I couldn't afford the micro surgery. And the surgeon's very kind. He said, "If I give him all of my, you know, knives, my DVDs, and sign big pictures for his office saying I saved, you know, he saved my career, what he would do is he would do the micro surgery." So because I was entitled to regular surgery. How how, no, how far in? Uh, from these two knuckles, I cut these this this end off. Holy! And if I do you, this, you see the indent right there. See the yeah. There's an indent right in there. Yep. That whole piece is missing. I sliced right through them. Wow! And yeah. I look at people. So sometimes they don't grab. And this is a little big for me, the Magnum. I usually carry, but I just grab them quick. It, it looks easier to demonstrate mm -hmm. with yeah. the Magnum. Yeah, be able to demo it. I have it. guys with big hands with gloves on. No. It works. Do you shoot? I just started shooting. You shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's a firearms grip. As long as my finger's in the trigger, there's a nib. It can't close on my finger. I right. can rack the slide and bring it back. Yep. Um, I can bring it back myself or I can let it close and hammer, but where you're, where the lock is, because I have a patent, you know, it's a, a dovetail joint, jigsaw puzzle piece, 
that's where your decock or mag release is. So I'm used to doing that all day. Yeah. So and unlike every other knife, it's still in user position. Mm. Right? Everything else you gotta rotate, do weird yeah. stuff and try to it's still, control yeah. for me. It's right there. I take the lock out. I come right back. Yeah. As soon as I see someone move, I'm right there. So right. even out of battery, just like a firearm, I can see it's out it's, of battery. And, I and can lock bring it. it back in. Absolutely. Or go right down to, to impact mode. Yes, yes. Slice or impact. And That's if you think about it, you know, Shashir, when he first saw it, said, oh, Bram, you know, because Shashir is Mr. Bally's son. <laughs> um, and with Scott Brennan, you know, two of them are the ballet song people, and they looked up and said, "Oh, you have the soul of a ballet song in your tool because there's impact and using the bramps to grab with." Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. There's less than lethal cutting, and I call it waka waka waka. <laughs> the Pac Man. <laughs> or I can be fully open. You know, when you flip it open, and ballet songs, of course, can de-escalate. So I have the only functional tool that goes from non-lethal to less than lethal to lethal and back down to non-lethal again because the soul of our niece and a ballet song are in my tools. Nice, that's just did I give you your tool back? Yeah, that's here. Oh, okay, yeah, good. I got it, I got it right here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. No, that that's and the great. reason I make red trainer drummers is because firearms firearms, firearms. so red is a red gun. Red, red is a red blue, gun. Blue my blue crimped is like a, a a Glock Sim gun. It's not a safe training tool. It's a working tool, and it's for law enforcement security. You know, all of us. It's the world's best doula we doula because it has all the same parts as my knife, but it's got that breaker cutter on the bottom, so we can break out windshields and side glass. I can cut flex cuffs. I can cut down clothing. And with the Jim's blade, a lot of my medic guys use it because we can move parts and the blade, the edge. If you feel, you've probably felt it oh, yeah. before. Yeah. That it can't. It can't cut hmm. anybody, right? But I grab fabric, so it's, I need you to come with me. It's it's uh, that. yeah. It has yeah. a it has a catch. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. also when I do, Pakal Pac Man, I can reach out and grab a finger, a arm, anything, and get you to come with me. I can grab a pack. Oh, oh, that, oh I, I was just like, oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Feeling how that grabs? Oh yeah! That's Ooh, nice grab. Now, granted, I can do punyo grabbing. Right, right. But that was so that everyone gives you a breaker for windshields. Mm -hmm. Windshields are laminates, mm -hmm. and you get those shards coming out. And I go, how do you get the shards out? So I go, well, you broke the windshield. I said, I know, but they're they're glued to a laminate, so you get these levers. And we've had people who, so you're not supposed to have a chip in your windshield. If you have a chip and you're not wearing a seatbelt and you hit it, the glass expands. Uh -huh. And I've had people razor blades of the glass cutting them and they ooze through that hole because the whole thing just expands with the plastic and the shards just they didn't yeah, go anywhere they, they, they. so i use this to break and then i pull the shards out and i can cut the laminate and finish mm. breaking the rest of the glass and get out through my windshield details okay great details i wear i have all my guys we wear it on our seat belt so that we can cut the seat belt Break side glass, break side glass, break the windshield, hmm. and then oxygen mask on yourself first, then take care of whoever else is in the car. Um, yeah. I grew up outside in New York where they have that reinforced glass, the wire in the glass. Yeah, yeah. So oh, this God. is the same steel as the blade, not one little wimpy razor blades. Mm -hmm. So I can break the glass and I can actually cut that wire. <clears throat> and all I do is take a sharpener and resharpen it. Worst wow. case, this is the same piece that's in the butt of your knife. Those Everything matches up. So if you really wanted to, you could put a breaker cutter in your live blade. And the reason I, I do this is if you take this out, it's just an impact tool. With this in it, it's a rescue tool. But mm. it's the world's best doodly doodle. Yeah. yeah because yeah. I can bend you around corners, which I can't do with a coupon or a doodly doodle. Yeah, it's, it's got a good grab, yeah. grab to it. Yeah. Nice, so nice. You know, nice, no, I appreciate that. That's. That's some awesome uh, insights. <laughs> Glad I could take the pain for you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I said, because we're Filipino, we jam and pull. Yep. If everything is rigid, solid, that's how things break. This has flex to it. Has a little cushion. It's supposed to have. Yeah. People go, oh, look, I can make it flex. No kidding. It's supposed to. It's supposed oh. to absorb impact and have okay. a little give. So it catches that first set of hit and break. It hits and flexes and then snugs itself up and then I go. Okay. And I don't know if you do regular swords. You see how it's a solid piece in the bottom? Yep. Okay, so the solid piece 
means the weight is back here like a pummel and a sword, so it takes the weight away from the blade, mm. so it's lighter. It also means when I go to strike you with a puño strike, it's a solid piece it's of It's a steel. solid piece, yeah. Mm. It's... Um, I'm a crazy. <laughs> You, like you've got you've got the nice details uh, all formed in there. That's like a BMW. <laughs> engineered, and engineered again. Yeah. I'm a I'm a Porsche guy. <laughs> <laughs> Porsche's big thing is okay. All right, show that again. Let me do it on you. Okay. So, and this is a big one. So I want you to think about. Look where I am. Ah. Uh, Did I? And what people try to do is drag it. Is there anything over here? No. Target. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Where do I need to be? I want to be. Right? Notice it's still open right here. That's why I said if you get used to putting your finger here on basically a turnstile. So just think about, you just need a turnstile. Open it. Okay. Ah! Didn't go very far, did you? No, now, right if there. I went to move, it's, now, it's it, right there. now open it and end up right on the other side. Because yeah, once you get that, From here. Yeah. ah! Did you, did any hesitation or you're right there? I was right there. There you go. That's right. why you open it. Because I've got people go, oh, I try to drag it. Don't drag it. Just, just, just open it right there. Uh, so I'm in here, and I'm banging away, and I'm not sure. Oop. Hey, no problem. How about if I'm here? That hand comes at me right here. Oh, I'm in. Oh, bang. Nice. <laughs> but nice. you're right there.